officer. It's time for our mindful moment. I believe today is Monday, May 4th. Um, so this week, we're going to talk about the word forgiveness. So forgiveness is when you let go of negative emotions regarding an incident. So we're going to think about that this week. When have you forgiven someone? Uh, and what's the situation where you can show forgiveness? So that's what we're going to uh, talk about today. And actually today, we're going to talk about how we can forgive ourselves when we mess up. All right, so let's do a mindful moment. Um, and uh, you can either sit on the floor or you can sit in a chair. Make sure your um, hands are on your knees. So here we go. We're going to remember to inhale and exhale through our nose. And I always add, because some folks have allergies, that uh, if you need to exhale through your mouth, you can do that. The key thing with our breathing is that we do that uh, slowly. So I'm going to count for you. So ready? So ready, inhale, one, two, three. Hold it. And let's exhale, one, two, three, four. Now, again, remember you're looking down. Uh, you can close your eyes if, if that makes uh, you feel okay. If you're uncomfortable closing your eyes, you can keep them open, but we should be looking down right now. All right, so let's try it again. We're going to inhale. One, two, three. Hold it. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, one more time. Inhale. One, two, three. Hold it. And exhale. One, two, three, four, five. Now, I want you to slowly open your eyes. I want you to sit up. All right, so I said that we're going to be talking about forgiveness. So I want you to think in your head, when's a time that maybe you need to forgive others or even forgive yourself? So think about that and hopefully we'll be talking about that this week and um, give you time to uh, share. But I'm going to share today, I said I'll, uh, that I want to focus on being able to forgive ourselves. You know that's important to be able to forgive yourselves. So the book that I'm going to share today is called Beautiful Oops. And Miss Ross is standing today. I've tried to make a stand up desk because my back is killing me. I think I've done too much seat work. All right. So that's why we're we're doing our mindful moments. And I we're Miss McIntyre I've talked to you about it's important to get up and get active. We don't need to sit all the time. So I'm gonna forgive myself that I sat too much last week and we're gonna work on that. So the story is called Beautiful Oops. And if you have heard of that word oops, so let's think about that. All right, so I love this story. Uh, Barney Saltzman wrote this book. Oops, a torn piece of paper. It's just the beginning. Every spill has lots. Let's see if it comes in. Oops, of possibilities. Look what they created with that spill. Got to turn my page. Bent paper is something to celebrate. A little drip of paint. I think it is. Let your imagination run wild. A scrap of paper can be fun to play with. A smudge and a smear. Can make magic appear. A stain. Let's see what we have. Uh oh. If you play with its shape, it has potential. Look what it became. The lily pad. Holes in your paper are worth exploring. Guys, look what they created with the holes in the paper. When you think you have made a mistake, oops, think of it as an opportunity to make something beautiful. Now, I chose to share this book this morning because I said a word is forgiveness. Sometimes, this is what I've noticed at school. 
kids mess up on their writing, and guess what they do? They crumble up that paper, they get frustrated, and they throw it in the trash. Or they're doing an art project, and they don't like how their dog looks, or how their bird looks, or whatever they're drawing. And they get mad, and they throw it away. So, hopefully what you're thinking of is that this year it shows us that even when we mess up, that we can turn that into something else. We just have to be creative and and forgive ourselves. It's okay. It's okay that if I tore a piece of paper, it's okay if I put uh, a stain on it. You know, maybe my hand had a little bit of something on it and I didn't realize it. My fingerprints on the paper. So what it gives us is an opportunity is to create something. You know, be creative. But it also allows us time to think, hey, you know what? It's okay I messed up. And to forgive myself for messing up. Because I don't know about you guys, but we mess up all the time. So it's very important. Nobody said we have to be perfect. So think of what you can do differently. And to say, you know what? I messed up. Uh, it's okay. I'm going to try harder. And I'm going to work on that. Um, and so think about that. And I would love for you to think, what's something that you really are hard on yourself about? That you haven't forgiven yourself about? Maybe... Uh, that, you know, two years ago, you remember that you were, uh, didn't, you. that you did not do well on, um, an assignment and you fussed because, uh, you were like, I should have made an A and I didn't make an A. Uh, again, forgive yourselves and just try harder. We can do that. All right. So I'm going to share with you. Uh, something else I want you to try to do because I think this is something I've got to be better at. So I'm forgiving myself, but I'm going to change my habits to do better. So I have, looks like French fries, doesn't it? I'm not eating French fries. So Miss McIntyre, I'm not eating French fries. But I made this, looks like French fries, and it's drain breaks. So one of the things that we have to do uh, during this time is we can't sit all the time. Uh, we have to get up and do some things. So, I'm going to give you some ideas. And today, these are easier because my, my back is killing me. So, I pulled out some French fries, some activities. So, I need you to stand up because you're going to do these with me this morning. I picked four. So, one is toe raises, hmm, 15 times. So, toe raises is like this. This is your foot, and you're going, you're standing straight, and you're going to lift your toes, and I'm going to count for us, so ready? Okay, here we go, toe raises. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. All right, so that was toe raises. All right, oh, guess what? Now we're going to do heel raises. So this is a heel raise. So if this was your toes, this is our heel. What do you think we're going to do? We're going to lift our heel. So ready? 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right. Now, let's take our arms and let's do 15 forward circles. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, so the last thing we're going to do is we're going to balance on one of our, uh, our foot. So let's balance on our left foot. So you ready? And I'll count 10 seconds. Ready? So you're holding your one foot's up in the air, the other foot's on the ground. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now take the other foot. 
Put it flat on the ground. Hold the other one up. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. So I just gave you some examples of brain breaks. And why do we do brain breaks? One is to help us waking up our body. It's not healthy to sit for long periods of time. So probably at least every 15 minutes, uh, we need to be moving, doing something. Uh, so it gets us, uh, so our legs and all that don't go numb. Um, and I will say the minimum time you need to be in your seat is 30. I mean, you you need, I mean, every 15 minutes is probably the best, but no more than 30 minutes. That's too hard for your body. So, you know, integrate some things. So like I shared with you this morning, I did a quick mindful moment with you just to get to reset our brain to make sure we were calm and ready to learn and then I shared a quick story and then I had you get up and we did a, a movement break. So we're going to end today with doing a heart breathing activity because we're talking about forgiveness. And so just to, when you're doing this breathing, I want you just to think about what's something that I'm so hard on myself about? What's something I need to say? It's okay. I'm just going to try harder, uh, but forgive yourself. You know, it's okay that we mess up. It doesn't mean that we stop and we don't do anything. It means we think, how can I do this differently? I messed up, forgive myself for making a mistake, and change what I'm doing and uh, try harder. All right, so we're going to do something called heart breathing. So you ready? So hands together in front of your heart. We're going to pretend you're drawing a big heart around your body. So you're going to breathe in as your arms scoop around your body. You're going to breathe out as you bring your hands down to your heart. So ready? So it goes like this. So again, we breathe in when we're doing this. We're scooping. We come back up. And then we breathe out. So ready? Are you ready to try it? And so we're going to try it three times. So ready? Breathe in. Breathe out. Again, it's, it, you can inhale through your nose, exhale through your nose, or inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. So let's do it again. Last time. Okay. So I hope that you've thought of things that you need to forgive yourself for. And that you're going to make this a magnificent Monday. Uh, we are now in the month of May. And guys, um, parents, I want you to think about things that maybe you need to forgive yourself. Because I know you've been a little hard on yourself for about teaching. Um, and we're just all going to do the best that we can. Have a great day. Miss Ross loves you guys.